everybody and welcome to Simulate Gaming and welcome to my first video here on Farming Simulator 19. I thought I'd kick things off with a garage tour. Now because there's so many vehicles available to us, I thought I'd break it down. So if you don't already know, the vehicles are now categorized up into small, medium and large, for the tractors at least. So today we're going to be taking a look at the small tractors. There's 10 in this category. So we'll go ahead and take a look at them uh, one by one real quick. Now, just quick heads up, I did already record this video. It's actually the second time I've recorded this, but the other one is so detailed. I've thought about it too much that I've not actually had time to edit it together yet because I've been very, very busy with the streams and stuff. Um, but I will get that uh, edited, uploaded for you guys in the future. But for now, we're just going to go ahead and show everything off like this in a row at the store. So here, first up, we we have the Fiat 1300 DT. Uh, we'll go ahead and show you the specs for this once again, small tractors. Um, so this is 150 horsepower, 200 liters of fuel, a top speed of 15 miles per hour. The base price is 59,000 pounds. And there's a range of wheels available for this as well, including narrow tires and also the rear twins, which is really nice. So let's go ahead and jump into the Fiat. As you can see, we have a really nice interior in this thing. I'm a bit of a Bit of a freak for old tractors, I do love them. So this is the interior of this. Um, go ahead and park this over here. Like so, so that's the first one available to us. Next up, we've got the Voltra A series. This is the smallest Voltra in the range available to us. We're gonna go ahead and see how much this is. So starting price, this is 65,600 pounds. As you'd expect with Voltras, they come in a range of colors here, uh, including yellow, which I really like. Uh, you can also get a front weight for this thing. There's no three point on the front of the uh, the A series. Uh, we've got the Trelleborgs available for this and also the Nokians as well, which is really cool. Uh, wheel setup, once again, we've got a range of wheels that we can choose from and also we can upgrade the engine to a 114. So interior here is the standard Vultra A series. Um, pretty similar to the rest of the Vultras, though it doesn't have the, uh, the steering wheel at the back that you can flip around. So that is the Vultra A series. Okay, moving on to the Fent Favorite 511C. This is the oldest Fent available to us. Um, love the look of this thing. So we'll just quickly go ahead and check out what the specs are and how much it is. So it starts at 76,000 pounds. Once again, we've got the Trelleborgs available for us there as well. We've also got the Nokians. Um, engine setup, we can go up to a 515. Uh, the wheel setup, once again, we've got a range of wheels available to us on the uh, the Fent, and we can also on this one have a front loader attacher, which is really nice. So here's the interior. Fent have obviously changed their design quite a lot since they uh, were making this tractor. But this is the uh, the Fent favorite. Okay, moving on to a tractor that's sort of grown on me. I really enjoyed this tractor. Um, I've been looking at them on YouTube and stuff. This is the Stara ST Max 105. This is uh, I thought I'll show you what this is. This is. Um, where is it? 105 horsepower, 120 liters of fuel, top speed of 18 miles per hour, and the starting price of this is 81,000 uh, pounds. Wheel setup for this one, we have the weights available, the wide tires and the wide tires and weights, and also the narrow tires for this, rear twins, and then back to the standard. Because the reason I like this tractor is it's got all the manual levers and stuff, like the good old fashioned days. So we've got the, obviously the computer down there, but we do have also the manual levers, which I think is really nice. Um, so moving on. So the interiors of these new shaped New Hollands are really nice. You can see we've got all our stuff off to the right there. We've got the classic New Holland steering wheel and the classic dash and the, uh, the blue of the New Holland as well. Right, moving on, we've got a, a tractor that I have a soft spot for. Once again, I've been looking at these on YouTube in real life. They're pretty interesting. This is the Lin Track. Um, I'll show you the details of this one as well. So we're going to go to Lin Track 90. That was the number I was trying to think of. Linda Lin Track 90, in fact. Uh, so this is 102 horsepower, 85 litres of fuel capacity, top speed of 24 miles per hour. This, a bit like the Vultra, can be painted in any colour that you uh, you want it to be. As you can see, we've gone for the blue there. Um, it starts off at £85,000. You've got the Trelleborg wheels available, the Nokian tyres as well. And once again, a wide range of wheel options available for this. And also a front loader attacher, which is really cool. Interior of this is... Uh, Pretty basic in the Linders. As you can see, we've got all our stuff off to the right there, as we should in the tractor. We've got the very futuristic style um, dash on this one as well. But yeah, that is the Lin, the Lin track. That's a tongue twister. Okay, moving on, we have the Massey Ferguson 56010 drop nose. I'll quickly go ahead and show you the specs of the drop nose here. Um, so 105 horsepower. 160 litres of fuel and 25 litres of death fuel, which is ad blue here in the UK. 24 
uh, miles per hour top speed starts at eighty-eight thousand pounds. We can upgrade the engine to a five-six thirteen. Uh, the Trelleborg wheels are also, of course, available for this. We've also got the Nokians uh, wheel set. Once again, we've got a wide range of wheels available to us on this tractor. And once again, the front loader. So here's the interior. It's a pretty standard Massey Ferguson interior. Massey Ferguson do have like a, uh, a thumbprint for their interiors. I really enjoy the Massey Ferguson steering wheels as well. Because next up, we've got a tractor I'm honestly not familiar with in real life. This is the Armour Track 1104 Common Rail. So once again, I can't tell you what these are like because I have no idea, but I'll go ahead and show you it in this store. Let's go ahead to Armour Track. So this is 110 horsepower, 100 litres of fuel, 24 miles per hour top speed. We can change the rim colour to red if we desire. Front loader on this as well. And once again, the wide range of tyres that we will be used to now. So the interior of this thing's pretty basic um, on the Armour Tracks. However, it reminds me a lot of the New Holland T4, which, as you guys know, on the channel, I'm a huge fan of the New Holland T4, mainly because it's the only tractor I've ever driven in real life. Also, interestingly enough, this tractor comes with what looks like an air compressor on the back as well, so that's nice to see. Okay, so next up, we've got the Fent 310 Vario. Uh, this is the... Is, I won't really say it's the smallest Fent we've got, but it's the one in the small range, which is obviously newer than that one, so... Uh, we'll go ahead and show you the specs of this one as well. So once again, the Fent 300 Vario, 110 horsepower, 210 litres of fuel, 23 litres of DEF fuel, or add blue, 24 miles per hour, available in two shades of green. Um, we've got the starting price of £111,000. The Trelleborgs are for this one, of course, and the Nokians as well. Once again, the standard range of tyres available for this tractor. We can get an engine upgrade to a 313. And the front loader attacher for this thing as well, which is color coded, which I really like. I like the Fent do that. Okay, so we've got the uh, the Fent, the standard Fent interior on this thing. Once again, I think Fent do a really good job on their tractors. So if you guys have been watching my stuff as of late, you know that Fent is slowly taking the place of my favorite tractor. Um, I just like what they produce. So there's the Fent. Okay, and finally in the small category we have the Voltra. Uh, we've got the Vulture N series. So it's got 145 horsepower, 235 litres of fuel, 45 litres of Ad Blue, 31 miles per hour top speed. Once again, standard Vulture stuff. We can change to any colour that we want. We've got the Trelleborgs available for this one as well with the range of tyres. We've got the Nokians um, engine setup. So this tractor is also available with an N15E engine, and we can get a front loader for this as well. well this looks beastly in these colour schemes. Right, so the interior of this Vulture, as you can see, is a bit like the other Vulture, um, but Vulture do slightly add things as you go up the range. We've got the nice tablet there that Vulture supply us, and um, also one on the side there. So yeah, that is the Vulture end series. Okay, so thank you very much for joining me. This has been everything in the small tractor category here on Farming Simulator 90. Once again, I will upload my original video when it's finished uh, editing and stuff. Hopefully I'll get time to do that. But well, thank you once again for joining me. If you did enjoy, please tap the thumbs up button. It really does mean a lot. Hit subscribe to see more from myself. I've been Simulate Gaming and I'll see you in the next one.